Hong Kong's grievances echoed through the territory's tourist district today, a stream of young and old, a sign that this movement isn't backing down, even if friction with police has become routine along the way. There have been some concessions from the Hong Kong government, but no guarantees that democratic rights are safe from Beijing. Still, protesters say they're determined. At least I have to do the thing I need to do, and this is my responsibility to protect it. Yeah. <laughs> As a Hong Konger? As a Hong Konger. These protests have been going on for a month now, on a regular basis, overflowing the streets. They've been done out of exhilaration and frustration, but for all of this excitement, they have left this city very much divided. Hong Kong's pro-China voices held their own demonstration last week, and Beijing supporters here insist all those who fear China have just been brainwashed by the West. What I mean by brainwash is that negative news were injected into young people, in the, into the entire population, by a very popular newspaper every day. And people were just online reading all the negative news without anything positive to balance it out. Things have become more confrontational as some protesters lashed out at the Hong Kong government vandalizing the legislature a week ago. Many peaceful protesters here today don't support that, but they say it's a reaction to hostility from the police. And tonight, the march did end like this. Sasha Petrosik, CBC News, Hong Kong.